Hello everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here. Are multivitamins worth it? You know, most Americans are taking dietary supplements and many Americans are getting their supplements in the form of one multivitamin containing many, many vitamins, nutrients. And I don't think that's always the best approach because when you combine a redox active metal with an antioxidant, even in a solid dose form, you're creating some chemistry internally. And we know in chemistry and biochemistry, something called the Fenton reaction, which creates oxygen, toxic oxygen radicals, hydroxyl radical, that can be very damaging. So if you're taking a multivitamin, don't take a multivitamin with a metal like iron, selenium, chromium. Take those separately. But I think more importantly, we have to get back to personalized nutrition. There is no one size fits all. And I think that's what multivitamins have assumed, that we're all built alike, we all have the same nutrient requirements. So I always recommend getting a micronutrient analysis, figure out what your body is missing, what do you need? The other problem is, you know, years ago, we started putting calcium in everything, calcium in multivitamins, calcium in milk, calcium fortified in everything. And the problem we're seeing with this really enormous uptick in atrial fibrillation is too much calcium, not enough magnesium. These are divalent cations that affect electrical activity of the heart. So what I recommend is completely getting away from calcium, again, through micronutrient analysis. 75% of Americans are deficient in magnesium. So focus on repleting missing minerals and nutrients and completely eliminate the multivitamins, especially ones where there's metals contained in that multivitamin ingredient or that component. So everybody's different. You know, just understand what your body's missing, supplement what's missing, eliminate the bad stuff from your body, and the body heals itself. Thank you.